Ignite UI for Angular has a data grid for any type of business application that you need to deliver, starting with our flat grid, then our hierarchical grid, our tree grid, the pivot grid, and then finally our spreadsheet grid. Any type of user experience that you need to deliver can be achieved with one of the grids from Ignite UI for Angular. In this video, you're gonna see the features, functionality, and user experience that you can deliver with the Ignite UI for Angular flat data grid. The Ignite UI for Angular data grid is a full feature data grid that has every feature you need to build line of business applications. For example, the grid comes with both light and dark themes and also supports material, bootstrap, and fluent themes, plus any custom theming option that you require. The grid supports grouping, so your users can group data or data can be ungrouped. Grouping is also interactive. So for example, if I collapse a couple groups and I'll just drag this guy back up and you'll see we have our groups set up. Other useful interactive features include column moving, multi-column headers, multi-column headers that can collapse and expand. So you can show more columns on demand as you need them. We also include an Excel style filter option, which has a little bit more than you would get in a typical filter dialog. For example, I can pin columns to the left. So as I scroll, they're always pinned. I can show and hide columns any column that's hidden can be shown again by using the grid toolbar, which has all of the columns available to me in the grid that I can reselect and show. The grid also comes with sorting options. You'll note that within the grid header, you can see which columns are sorted in which order and in which direction. If we look back at the Excel style filter again, the filter options are based on the data type of your column. So for example, this is a string column. So you have options like contains, does not contain, starts with, etc. If I go to a date column, like last update, my filter options will be date specific. So for example, yesterday, last month, last year. If I select last year, the auto filter dialog pops up, allows me to add additional column filters or simply click apply. And you'll see that the grid data is limited to my filter option. To clear the filter, I can simply go back up click clear column filters, and my grid is back to all of the data. You'll also notice as I hover over each column, there is an overlay in the last column. This row actions overlay, which can be completely customized and templated, allows you to do things like pin rows to the top of the grid, allows you to enter edit mode on a grid, and allows you to delete rows in the grid. You can add any options to the filter row actions overlay. You're not limited to the defaults that we provide. When you do pin rows to the top, you have a nice experience with the grid where users can see scroll regions based on what's pinned. So in this case, we have items pinned to the left and we have items pinned to the top. And you'll note the items that are pinned will have the word pinned in the first column. So you know that this is actually a pinned column. If I wanna unpin the column, I can simply hover over and then unpin that column. The grid also supports virtualized scrolling horizontally and vertical by default. You're not limited to the number of rows in the grid. You'll have the same performance if it's 10 rows, 10,000, or 100,000 rows. In this grid, for example, we can add another 9,000 rows to the grid, and you'll note as I scroll, we have the same experience horizontally and vertically as we did before. The grid also supports full remote data operations. If you don't want to have data local, you can load data on demand and completely control what's displayed in the grid. Some other nice interactive features include collapsing and expanding all groups, selecting or deselecting all groups or individual groups. So for example, I just selected everything under contract. And when I collapse this group, you can see that the other records are deselected. I'll go ahead and expand everything and we will unselect everything. I'll also unpin this column. You'll also note that there is an expansion indicator on each row. The grid supports master detail. This is different than the hierarchical grid capability. This allows you to insert any template on any grid row to give more details about that row. And you can see that we're including things like interactive charting, and other bound data details for this data set. If you have the need for real-time streaming data, the grid does support real-time data updates. You'll note here that as I scroll, this data is being updated. In the upper right, it's telling us that it's updating about 2,000 cells every half second. The nice thing about the grid performance is it's unaffected by streaming and real-time data feeds. 
you won't see any difference in the performance if you're streaming data or if your data is already displayed in the grid. The grid toolbar, which we turned on and off earlier, allows you to add custom buttons or use the default buttons that we provide. So for example, we have the column pin option. So here you can pin columns to the left. We already looked at column hiding. You also have export to Excel. We'll click the export to Excel option. You have a nice indicator showing you that the grid is exporting data and the data is put into the Excel file. The nice thing about the Ignite UI data grid is that the data is actually exported in the same hierarchy that it displays in the grid. Your end users get the same experience in Excel that they would in the data grid. As you can see, the Ignite UI for Angular data grid has every interactive feature that your users not only expect, but they'll love. To learn more about modern web products like Ignite UI for Angular, check out IgniteUI.com. Also, click subscribe so you can get notified when we post new videos on how to use all of our modern web products.